everybody. Welcome to another Goggles 56 tutorial on ATS and I'm pretty sure it'll apply to ETS as well. But uh, we've got this new Barrett uh, trailer here from uh, Anonymous and it's, it's quite a trailer actually if you look inside and stuff and just look at the detail on the floors, the fold down bits like you see that the hinges there where this floor, flo floor folds down after the uh, I don't see where the bit is for the uh, stairway because this is a stairway brace up here. But anyway, that should uh, should be something here that folds down to complete this floor and the stairway. But they got the stairway over here, and it's uh, pretty cool. It's a very nicely done trailer. Anyway, and it's free, but it doesn't come with a few things like lights. And if we went to the options. Uh, accessories and we got rear lights here so we got the KSW light pack here very cool but we go to the side and this is called side lights and there's click this and they're all grayed out they don't work same here front light nodes nothing so we're gonna we're gonna fix that and then we're gonna do the light box and we're going to do a rear decal and show you how to do it. And if we got time, we're going to include it. I'll show you how to include it in a truck skin too. If you're into making your own skins, you can include these changes into a truck and do that for your different various skins and not have to redo your skin all the time. So anyway, let's uh, get on with it. So step one is we got to know what these are called here. So, so we can put it into the KSW light pack open def and get this in there. So this is called side underscore lights, plural. And this is top underscore lights. Okay, so we got to add that to the uh, open def. So let's go do that. So we'll leave here. Yeah, we'll just get on out and close that. Then we're going to uh, go to the Launchpad, and we're going to go to the mod manager first of all and see if we have the KSW light pack open def in here. And we do, and it's above the light pack, so we know we got that, so that's a good start. So that's going to help us out. <laughs> if we didn't have this in here, all our changes wouldn't do anything. So let's let's now. We're here, we can alt tab to here, bring up a couple folders. All right, so what we got on the left is our mod folder. That's where all our mods are. And the, uh, let's see, KSW light pack open def is right there. And we got lights over here. This is just a folder I made to work on for this. ATS trailer downloads Barrett lights. And uh, this is a copy of this. This is the same file. So it's an old one. So I kind of put this in because I have a lot of changes in it that <laughs> probably include the ones we're trying to add here. So first thing we got to do, so we're going to right click it and we're going to show more options, seven zip, open archive, and we're going to go to the def vehicle, add on hookups. And you can see that there's different files here, a whole bunch of them. We want the one that is at the top here, KSW marker underscore lights dot SUI. That's the file we want. We don't want any of these other ones. So bear that in mind. Let's take a note real quick. KSW marker underscore lights, right? Let's right click it. We're going to copy to and because we're working outside of the mod folder, it's going to copy it right into here. So we're going to say, yeah, that's where we want to go. Here's that path. ATS trailer downloads Barrett lights. Say OK. And there it is. So now, because we can't work on it in here, there's a lot of files you can, but these SUI files you can't. So we're going to go right click it, show more options, 7-zip. Oh, no, wait a minute. Sorry open with 
open with notepad and everybody has notepad so that's what we're going to use here we go down to the bottom uh, I don't get why these are out of oops out of place here let's move them over it bugs me my sense of order <laughs> not that I've I don't have OCD trust me okay so now what we got to do is we're going to take this bottom one and we're going to take the spaces too and we're going to copy it click here enter to make it go down and then control V to paste it in now we're going to take the innards out of it and we're going to make it side underscore lights and that's cool okay now we're going to take that whole deal we're going to copy it the little thingy here enter to go down control v and make this one top top there we go top lights side lights and we'll save it and we'll close it and then what we'll do is what do we got open here this one okay so because you got to make sure because sometimes i'll have the one in the mod folder open and you can copy the change right into there but we're going to copy it into here because it's quicker uh and we'll just um drag that over here update the archive and then we can close this and there's that one so we can just drag this one in and it'll replace it replace the file in the destination all right let's go see what happened oh uh, continue <sighs> come on giddy up here we go trailer manager let's see what happened if we've got uh we got light nodes now accessories oh yeah look at that now we got the we can put on the KSW lights just like on the back all the different lights we wanted so that's cool so now do we have the front Hey, let's put some blue lights. <laughs> yeah. Get that where we can see it. Oh, it doesn't shine very much, does it? Anyway, okay, so we got lights. Now we know how to do that. Pretty simple actually. You know, it's not it's not terrible. Uh let's get out of here. Wow, thousand bucks for those two lights? Are they kidding me? Let's get out of here. All right. So now what we got to do is the light box in the back. So let's uh, get out of here. We're going to go to the launch pad. And for the light boxes and stuff, we're going to Mod Manager. And here's the Barrett Livestock Trailer Def File. So we got that in here. And it's down here right above the trailer. So we know we got it in here because we don't have that. But we're working on it <laughs> if it's not active in the mod manager we're not going to see the changes so there's a start we got that let's uh, get out of here alt tab on out of here and um let's see where we bear it and in my little folder here that i for working on this i made a graphics one we got nothing in it so what we have to do is go to that barrett where was it Barrett, here it is here. Open def. So I'm going to copy it over here, just and do the same thing I did with the other one. So we'll copy it, and we'll paste it here. You can drag it too, actually. You can just take it and drag it. It says copy to. Just make sure it doesn't say move to graphics. If it says copy to, you're good. There we go. So we got that over here. So now we got to get the bits in there that we're going to manipulate so we saw when we were in there that it had uh nothing on the light box so let's do the light box first so let's uh, show more options seven zip open archive and in there we've got uh 
a rear template. So don't really need. Oh, where's there's no no light box template. Okay. Well, let's go vehicle trailer owned light box in this empty DDS. That's going to be the one that that's the front light box on the Barrett trailer. So we're going to take that and we're going to right click it and we're going to go copy to uh, to the graphics folder. It knows where we are because we brought that mod over here. So we'll go OK. And there it is. There's our empty DDS. So we're going to turn this into our light box. So let's go right click it. Open with paint.net, which is what I use. Whatever your graphics program is, is what you want. So that's what's there right now. So we want to make it different. So what I'm going to do, I just don't like working on anything that's the very base layer. So I'm just going to copy that up a layer. And uh, I don't know why. It's just I'm goofy. So now we're going to make a couple new layers. Actually, we'll make one new layer now. And we're going to put our text on here. So for text, we're going to use, I think I, I, think I kind of like this one. We're going to go, we're going to put on cap locks on our keyboard. And we're going to grab, um, let's see, we're going to do a lighter color with a red. Yeah, that'll be cool. Red with a, no, lighter color. Let's do this, something like that. Try it. We're in text. We got our thingy. What's our, let's go 72 just to start. I like working on this uh, center align. Kind of works good. So you go to the middle and we're going to go, got our cap locks on. Goggles 56. Yeah, 72 is perfect actually. Uh, let's just sort of center that on there. Kind of like that. That'll work. And we'll, whoops, backspace. Escape is what I wanted to hit just to. Close it off, okay. Now, just to get extra fancy, I'll just really quick. What I like to do is make things a little different. So I would duplicate the layer like that. I'm going to take the layer underneath it. And I'm going to change my color to dark red. And I'm going to get the magic wand. I'm going to amp it up a little bit. And uh, that's up here, like the how much it grabs. I'm going to uh, shift, click, and I'm going to grab the paint bucket and shift paint. There we are. Hit escape a couple times. Now we're on the layer underneath this gold layer. So we're going to switch to our little grabber tool, our pointer thingy. We're going to just drag that down to the bottom left a little bit. Just about like that. You see what that does? It gives you the uh, shaded effect. We're not doing it real fancy. Like, I'd go in here and I'd connect all this stuff. And, yeah, you know, but we don't have time for that. So there we go. So this is our new, well, you know, what we're going to use. So we're going to go and save this right now. File, save as. And in the graphics, we're going to call it, it's a PDN, empty PDN. So let's save it there. Just in case we want to come back and work on it and be right back here. So now we're going to close this, and that would have been our template layer. You know, I always close it off before I make a DDS. And uh, now we're going to go save as. We're going to change this to a DDS. And we already have an empty DDS there. So that's the one we want to change it to. So we have a new empty DDS with script on it. So we're going to replace the old one. And we're going to say, oh, going on here I got somebody's made a notification there so we got it there we go okay flatten now it's all flattened out and this empty DDS is now ready to put back in here and we'll update it and now we're gonna go up up oh accessory rear decals and we're going to open the, uh, or actually copy to our graphics folder. So we'll say OK. Now here it is. 
I'm gonna open it. Uh, open with paint.net. Oh, that's this beautiful American flag. So we're gonna put our own deal here. Um, uh, let's see, let's find something. I think we can use uh, open video files. Yeah, let's use the old goggles 56 thingy here. So we're gonna, uh, that is what kind of file, it's a PNG. So let's just copy it, control C, go over here, make a new layer. We'll go control V on this layer. Keep the canvas size. Don't expand the canvas because we want to keep whatever's in the background the way it was. And then we'll just take this one and we'll go uh, uh, shift, grab the corner and shrink it up till it fits in here. And then we can put it kind of in the middle. I think something like this. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to hide that bottom layer. And we're going to go File, Save As. Uh, rear decal.pdn. We could save it as that because what that'll do is, once again, we could come back and manipulate it if we got it all wrong and stuff. It's easier to work from here than with the... Uh, um, the other way around so we saved that right save yeah so now we can because we have the rear layer this layer gone now we're going to save it as the dds so i'll change this to dds and we have the rear decal dds we're going to because we have to change that out for it to work on the trailer we got to go save i'm going to replace that say okay flatten and get rid of this. Now we've got that there. Now we're going to take it and drag it into here. Say, yep, update that. Now we can get, <coughs> we're going to, excuse me. <coughs> we're going to get right up to where we're not messing in that, uh, that file at all. So in here, uh, we gotta go over here, up, up, Barrett. Well, let me just think of what I just did. did where did I, oh, were we, we were working right in the folder, weren't we? We didn't copy it over. Oh yeah, well, no, we did, here it is. Okay, sorry. We, we uh, just updated it and checked the time timestamp yeah this is the one here so we're going to drag this over and replace this one here so we'll just drag it over there and say replace it <clears throat> and we'll go into the game and see what happened we know we have it in there because uh, we saw the flag on the back of the trailer so it's in our mod order in the right place let's go trailer manager and this one, configure. Hey, there's our light box. Yeah, that red doesn't show up too good. It's too uh, too dark. Anyway, let's see what we got in the back. Decal. There we go. Goggles 56. So that was pretty easy. So just, you know, just follow those steps and uh, you can do it. And, uh, and we've got our lights so we're styling got this trailer sorted out so um one quick thing i want to show you with that light pack just to read just this kind of just hammer it home so do you want to cancel yeah there's good well actually there's a couple things we need to go over and one is the importance of where that open def is and something cool you can do with it. So I'm going to show you something here. So let's see, we're going to go into Alt tab and we're going to go grab 
any little skin. Like I got a, oh, so many skins. Let's see, we're in the Roland folder, or the, not Roland, the uh, Ruta. Let's see, do I have any personalized Ruta here? Alberta Heavy Hall Ruta W900 Dan. Oh, that's probably too old. Because of the uh, changes he's made. Let's pick, um, i got to pick a truck that's fairly recent. And a, and a Ruta one. Oh, the uh, Freightliner. What did I do? Uh, Montana Express. Oh, yeah, but that's going to be in Steam. Shoot. Well, I did one for uh, Necktie Gaming. Let's grab Necktie's Hell Creek. Uh, Hell Creek. Ruta Necktie. Ruta 389 for Necktie. So I'll show you what I did here. I actually already did this one. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. We're going to 7-zip, open the archive. And we're going to look at the vehicle, truck, and trailer owned. So what we did was, if we go and look at our changes on the Barrett, uh, we're in graphics. Let's go to the... Let's go over here to mod. So we got two mod folders open here. We'll go to the Barrett. The changes we just made. We're going to right click it and we're going to go show more options. 7 zip. Open archive. Now we got it open over here. And we're going to go vehicle, trailer owned. So what we did is we just opened our skin here and we took the trailer on from here and we copied it into there but we're not going to do it because this one is i did a hell creek uh front and rear for it just like i've done for my uh, uh pizzer 389 on steam on that skin i did this exact thing i updated it to hell creek on the trailer and then the trailer owned with Hell Creek, I dragged it into the skin for Hell Creek, and I updated it on Steam. So now, if you go to the Pister uh, 389 skin on Steam, it automatically has the trailer in it. So I'll show you how this works when we put it in the mod folder and or mod manager, and how that all takes place. So we can go into the mod manager. And we could find that Hell Creek skin for um, our friend uh, do, 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 Necktie. So we go Hell Creek. And we're looking for Necktie Gaming. Necktie. So let's put it in here. we got to put it below the graphics mod, uh, JBX. That has to be at the top. But it's above the original open def the original desk down here so we're above it so it's going to work because the load order goes from the bottom to the top so as it's scooting up this way that open def that previous open def is going to get uh, this one will be the one that takes precedent because it's the last thing the game sees when it's loading so we're going to confirm the change go into the game and now our goggles thing will be gone. And we'll see Hell Creek. And let's go trailer manager. Oh, it didn't. Now, why is that? Oh, that's a poser. What did I do wrong? Oh, I wonder if I didn't save that Hell Creek. Uh, I wonder if I did something wrong with that skin. Let's shouldn't have. Let's go mod manager. Let's try it with the steam one I just put up. Uh, let's go updated. Updated. Let's put that in there and see what happens. Maybe I did something goofy with the other one. 
perm changes. That should work. If it doesn't, I'm going to be uh, puzzled. Trailer manager. Oh yeah, there it is. I must have done something wrong on that skin. So now if we go to the back, look at that decal. Yeah. So, and that's all I did is I just dragged the uh, the vehicle folder, uh, went in there, trailer owned, and added to vehicle where you drill in and it's trucks. So I'll just really quickly highlight that one more time. And then we're going to do one other thing to show you what else you can do with the light pack. And uh, so let's just get out of here. Just want to just hammer this home, what that looks like when you're adding that to the skin. So we'll, we'll use this one again. As a, I don't know why it didn't work, but uh, okay, okay, we got to go. Uh, sorry. Right click, show more options, 7-zip, open archive, and vehicle. And then we're going to go to our G drive, ATS trailer downloads, ferret, and graphics. And this, right click, show more options, 7-zip. Open archive and drag this over here. And we're at the same place now. Vehicle, vehicle, truck, trailer. And bear in mind this is skins, not not the actual vehicle. Trailer owned, vehicle, trailer owned. So we've dragged that in here, and that's super important. And then you can combine the two just like that, and it works. I don't know why it didn't go there. There's some little glitch in what I did, but trust me, <laughs> if you just follow the steps, it's good. So let's uh, close these out and go back up here to lights. We might as well just use this as an operating point. So we've got this, uh, we, co we made a change here. We copied it into here and we copied this back into the uh, mod manager. So I want to make another change in here. I'm going to show you something here. We're going to go into Mod Manager, back into the game. Oh, sorry, not Mod Manager, into the game. We're going to grab, because John Ruda in his trucks, has uh, he's updated his light pack, and it's quite nice. But just in case you want to, this is an example of what you can do. If you have a truck like this, go Truck Manager, grab this Pete. Uh, this is a skins work in progress kind of thing. Um, let's say you wanted to change the, uh, you know, use different lights here. And he, and like I say, he's done a good job of updating this. There's a bunch of different ones. He's got uh, all these different lights. They look really good. They're nice quality. And uh, he doesn't, he doesn't have any of the mini lights, does he? So if we wanted the mini lights, like the little wee teeny guys like KSW has, we can add them. So let's see, what do we have to do to do it? We have to look at what this is. Marker lights. Okay. So we don't want to go here. It's that accessory slot. That's not what we want. Marker lights. Plural. No space. All right. Let's exit. Go back here. Exit to the launch pad. Alt tab. Go in here. More options. Uh, open with notepad. Get down to the bottom. We're going to take that one. Copy it. And uh, space. Or not enter. Now we got this, and it's marker lights, right? So we'll backspace that stuff. Go marker. Oh, it's cap locks from 
sorry, cap lock off marker. There we go. File, save, close it. Uh, open this one. And take, oops, got to go into the death first. Death vehicle add on hookups. Update it. Close that. Uh, go into the game. We know it's already in the mod manager because we're using it on the trailer. And let's go truck manager. Just, oops, I don't want to drive it. I want to upgrade it. And let's see if we can. If we put those mini marker lights on here if we wanted them. I'll pick a slot. Oh boy, we missed something. We've got something wrong in the spelling, I'll bet. Let's have a look again. Marker lights. We not update. Oh, we didn't update. Uh, oh, jeez, how silly. Hang on, guys. Dope. I'll tab. Okay, I don't think we copied this over here. There we go. Replace the file in the destination. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, because sometimes it works straight in the folder, and this time I'm working outside of the uh, mod mod manager or mod folder we got to copy the uh, change in oops that's not what I want truck manager uh, upgrade there we go yeah so we got to go down and find those little wee guys there we go Orange. A little row of those there. That's enough for now. And they work. So that's how that works. So just grab that name, whatever it is. Not this, not this name. You don't want that one. You want the main one. So if it was these lights up here and you want to add something else, it's top light. So if you want to be able to use top lights from somebody else, or whatever they call it, if you want to change these top lights, you have to use that name, not what the other mod is using. So you can add, uh, yeah, you can add KSW to anything like that. So uh, hopefully you find this uh, all helpful and um, you're able to get through it. If you have any questions, just ask away. I know sometimes I go a little bit quickly, uh, but uh, in theory, uh, you've got the info you need. And uh, also in theory, well, let's quickly check because we added that. Let's see if we grabbed uh, this truck, upgraded it, and we wanted to. I've got those tiger eye lights on there, which are actually, I really like them. But lamp line, let's see if we've got... Yeah, so they're they're named differently. So here they're called lamp line. So we have to add lamp line. So if we added that, we would be able to change these too. So it's important to to realize what do they call them here? Accessory slot. And I think you would have to put bumper would be what you would need to put in so that uh, it would recognize them there. So there you go. It's just the process. Like it's it's all kind of logical. It follows a logical pattern that you have to stick with. Anyway, there we go. Um, I appreciate you guys following along. And if you have any questions or whatever, just ask away. And as always, uh, take care and catch you later. Bye for now.